I reacted to what was given to me at the time from PD and in the choice. And uh, there was, uh, uh, we hit the emergency button and the emergency button activated out and we are working through those protocols to make sure that it doesn't happen again. We will learn from this. That is the message today from Stoughton High School's principal after he incorrectly put his school into a lockdown yesterday morning. Now this all started when Stoughton police informed the district of an armed person in the area of the high school, but police say they only contacted the school after they had arrested that person and said there was no threat. Brad Hamilton live from the high school tonight with how students are feeling today. Brad? Chaos is how one student described yesterday's muffed lockdown, and we got a chance to hear his perspective on what was a scary Monday morning. Michael Driftkey was in band class when an Alice alarm sounded from the school's PA system. We were just running all over the place, not knowing what to do. If you're not familiar with Alice, it's a federally endorsed safety protocol used at schools to protect students and staff during an active or imminent threat. Alice stands for alert, lockdown, inform, counter, and evacuate. At about 10.20 a.m., Stoughton Principal Mike Cruz made the decision to activate Alice, believing an armed person was near the school grounds. I wasn't especially scared for my own life. I was just concerned about why there's like no communication of where he is and what we're supposed to do. The lockdown would last an hour long and it was a measure that wasn't needed as law enforcement says they only contacted Stoughton school officials after this armed person was already in custody and was no threat to the school. In a school board meeting last night, Principal Mike Cruz, who decided to put the school in its full Alice lockdown, says he is very thankful everyone is okay and that they will learn from this experience. People are concerned. And, 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 and they care, and uh, we'll make it better in the, in the future for the system of trust. But Michael Drifke, who's just a freshman, hopes that change comes quickly. Say if the guy was actually uh, uh, like on our school premises with a loaded gun, uh, that it could have ended horribly. Well, we just received an email from Molly Shea, who's the Community Information and Resources Coordinator. And I'm sorry, I, I just want you to, to hear this message, so I'm just going to read off my phone. Hi, we just recently issued an apology to our school community. We've begun an investigation to look into all the details of the response and make adjustments for the future. Again, you heard there will be an investigation going on into yesterday's Alice situation. We're going to keep you up to date with the latest information and the entire state that we just now received. Reporting live in Stoughton tonight, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now.